Amsterdam calling. So pick up. Going up my nose and everything. Hey everyone, I am coming to you today from a place uh, in Amsterdam that is popular with locals but not so well known with tourists as much as the city center, De Pipe, or the Ordon. And this place is called Oud West, which means Old West. And in the center of it is this uh, converted tram depot, which is now called De Halle, which means the halls. And inside there is a uh, film uh, theater called uh, De Film Halle. There are clothing stores, and there is an upscale food court called the Food Hall, which means the food halls. So the Food Hall is a great place uh, to come and eat. Not only is there a wide variety of food served from lots of different stalls, but there is always a lively crowd with a nice atmosphere. And uh, yeah, so today I'm meeting a friend uh, for lunch. You have seen him before, and we're going to try some different foods and uh, yeah, and report to you what's new and good now at the Food Hall. 19 different stalls serve a wide variety of food and drinks, from snacks and cocktails to full dinner and desserts. And I was lucky enough to score a table real quickly, and that's sometimes a difficult feat as there are a lot of people here. There he is. Hello, Jerry. How's it going? Hey, Phil. How are you? Well, tired today, but ready for food. We plan to get about six different dishes to share and sample, but with so much choice, it isn't easy to decide. Nine euros for a FIBO? No. <laughs> Oh my God, Phil, what do you have? I call my willpower not to eat it on the way over. Oh, that looks so good. Chicken pizza bread with 30 day fermented garlic sauce and meatballs with like a bolognese sauce and Parmesan cheese. So what kind is this? What's in it? Chicken and garlic sauce. Ooh, okay. The, uh, the garlic sauce doesn't kick in uh, until the end, and then there's some pepper in there as well. Really nice. The garlic sauce is, is amazing. Let's give these a try. Sauce is not too much, just right. They're so, so good. So, Phil, I hear you're learning Dutch. Got myself a little tutor. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to grips with the language, the pronunciation. I can ask for a beer. Mag ik een Beerschei also believe, is the most important one. <laughs> How would you describe bitterballen? The bitterballen are lekker, super lekker. Netherlands is moeilijk for mij. Look at this. I think this is for you, Phil. The hot dog is definitely for me. So, <laughs> I got a hot dog with bacon and cheese. We have mac and cheese balls. And to be healthy, to round it out, We've got Asian noodles with minced beef. Super lekker. Mm. Surprise, there are potato chips on top. I forgot about that. I ordered it, but I can't remember. <laughs> You're making a mess there, Phil. Mm -hmm. Look it's, at that, it's a disaster. It's so, so good. <laughs> Being American, I love macaroni and cheese. And I don't think, what we have in America, we have these macaroni and cheese balls, but I don't think I've ever eaten them. So this is sort of like the first time uh, I'm having them. I love stuff like bitterballer, and these look like bitterballer, so I'm gonna give them a go. That's really good. The only thing is, I'm, I dipped it in mustard. Now mustard is usually for bitterballer, and I think that's why <laughs> Phil likes it. But I don't know if the mustard really goes with mac and cheese. It's a little odd, but I mean, it's not bad, but I think I'll do, do the next one without mustard. <laughs> now I know Phil's not really, it goes for the healthy stuff. So I sort of bought this for me and sort of had a little bit more variety. So here's the real review. <laughs> the noodles are very light and the beef and the spices give it a real kick. So yeah, it's sort of refreshing and uh, spicy at the same time. So hey Phil, how about your Liverpool football team? I haven't got a clue. Don't watch football. In fact, I'd rather eat herring than watch football.
even after a big lunch, we have to have dessert. So uh, we got a couple of things. First, we have a raspberry tart from Petit Gâteau. And from uh, De La Crepe, we have a chocolate brownie and Nutella crepe and a lemon cannoli. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off small and try a cannoli. I've never ever tried one before. But I'm a massive fan of the Golden Girls. Um, they mention them all the time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes a bit like a sorbet. The taste is very summery. Now, I disagree with you. I find this very heavy. It's almost like eating frosting, but it's definitely a little richer than I thought. Okay, now I'm gonna try the Nutella and brownie crepe from De La Crepe. So there's topping inside, there's topping on top. It's been folded over a couple of times and you just cut it up. Cheers. Mmm. The jelly is warm. Mm. That's amazing. I'm gonna swap another piece. And the brownie is just enough. It gives, it gives just a nice little crunch. So delicate. The raspberry filling is very moist, and that mi mixed together with the uh, with the crust makes the crust moist. And then you have the light raspberry on top. Oh, it's so good. Taking away the dessert because obviously everybody loves dessert. I think. I'm gonna go with the chicken pizza. My favorite thing was the uh, the noodles with the minced meat. I really love them, and also the mac and cheese balls were really good. And the dessert, I have to say, the raspberry tart from Petit Gâteau was mwah, chef's kiss. Well, I know we're both really full from after having about six or seven things, but we have to finish off this video properly for the outro, and I promise it's not gonna be any more food. What a great way to end the video with a gin and tonic. Prost. Prost. <laughs> Do it properly. Yeah. Hey Phil, thanks for joining me. And I hope this video uh, gives you some good tips that you can pass on to your followers about the food hall. Yeah, if you're looking for something different to do and you love food and you love socializing, this is the place to go. Phil, how can our followers find you? So all you need to do is head over to Facebook and just type in Lily Likes Amsterdam with two L's. Um, and we'll be the top one that comes up. <laughs> and I'm Dan Jerry with Amsterdam Calling, hoping all of your days are leaf, low, and lecker. Bro.